ikom plubitini programmi l-lum baktar dwar il-kwizi fl-Afganistan. Grazzi li jati segu. Natu ħarsa fil-qasir kif dit din is-situazzjoni li jqedin fiha l-lum. Al-Qaida kienu ilom juzaw l-Afganistan biex jitrejnjaw il-terroristi misnin disajn. Il-Taliban għamlu zbal gbir meta ippermettew lil-mexej ta' Al-Qaida u zama bin Laden li jajx fil-Afganistan fej pjana l-attakki li zaru fu il-World Trade Center fil-sena il-fej u iħet. Fizmin xarrejn il-forsi tal-Istat Uniti neħew l-Taliban mil-Poter u fil-sena 2011 u zama bin Laden n-qatel ġol Pakistan. Kien il-President Barack Obama li ħabbar il-bidu tal-irtirar ta' truppi mill-Afganistan li jġibna għal din s-sena meta i-truppi Amerikani irtiraw f-salt u għat il-Presidenza ta' Joe Biden. Il-situazzjoni fl-Afganistan ħalqet krizi umanitarja globali. Of course, it remains to be seen how effectively the Taliban will be able to govern. When they governed before in the 1990s, they did not um, uh, manage to put together an effective administration. Um, the, pow- the, the problems that exist for Afghanistan are even greater than existed in the 1990s. You've got a drought that is, uh, and, and, the, and the likelihood of an immediate humanitarian crisis that's going to afflict Afghanistan in the next six months. You've got environmental de- degradation that's happened in Afghanistan. And you've also got a population that is very different than the population of Afghanistan in the 1990s when the Taliban ruled. Um, and one important component of that different population is the fact that um, many, many, many more women have been educated and have joined the workforce than existed in the 1990s. There were very few women, relatively speaking, in the 1990s who uh, who were in positions uh, um, of responsibility. You had female doctors, you had female teachers, but within the administration, within the government itself, there were very few women. Now that's changed. And and it's also changed in the sense that there are uh, are tens of thousands of young women who have been educated um, and who have an expectation of playing a, a role and, 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 um, and um, occupying um, positions within Afghan society, working positions within Afghan society, they're not gonna go quietly uh, back into the homes. Um, and they're not gonna quietly you know, redon the burqa or, or to uh, allow uh, their daughters um, to be uneducated. Um, so I think one of the big problems that the Taliban is going to have to face is how do they reconcile their traditional um, notion of gender inequality, of gender uh, difference, um, and the relegation of women to the domestic sphere with this new generation of women who have a different set of expectations and demands and who are ready to be politically mobilized. So I think that that's another question. So, you know, again, how, how will they handle their internal frictions within their internal factions within the party itself. 
How will they handle the various crises that Afghanistan faces, humanitarian, ecological, e uh, economic? Um, and how will they govern? Will they be able to effectively move from what is essentially now an insurgency and turn an insurgency, which is a very different animal than a, than a government? And are they gonna be able to turn their insurgency into an effective uh, governing structure is maybe the single biggest question. Natu harsa lain l'estremismo tal hakma ta Taliban l'esempio semplici ta titir ta taira li uwa wihet min l'esports nazionali tal Afghanistan. Sfortunatament dan l'esport ġi proibit mit Taliban matul il-poter taħum. The kite runner is taktib li referi al dan il-passatemp u warumans mill-autur Afgani Khalid Hosseini li għalkem jirrakonta storja ta' żewġ subin li kellum passjoni għal dan l-esport jiddeskrivi il-waqa tal-monarkija Afgana permezz ta' l-intervent militari sovjetiku u l-ħarba ta' refugjati lejn il-Pakistan u l-Istati Uniti taħt il-reġim ta' Taliban. Forgive me for what I have to tell you. Hassan is dead. A week before he died, he sent you a letter. Dan il-ktib reba ħafna premijiet għal mertu artistiku fil-letteratura u fil-sena 2007 ħareġ film fil-stess isem. I dream that my son will grow up to be a good person. A free person. I dream that someday you will return to revisit the land of our childhood. I dream that flowers will bloom in the streets again. And kites will fly in the skies. Your thoughts on the refugees. What's going to happen? Are we going to see more refugees uh, claiming political asylum all over the world? Uh, well, I think that this is going to be a problem um, for, for all of the rest of us. Um, and I hope it's a problem that the, as an American myself, I hope it's a problem that America and its allies handle responsibly. Um, but there's a big question mark around that because of the anti-immigrant sentiment that is so um, powerful and influential right now, both in Western Europe and in North America. Um, but I think we have an obligation to the, to the refugees. Um, right now, we have a number of Afghans who have who've been managed to evacuate from Afghan from, from the, through the Kabul airport. Um, we have to be able to get those people out of refugee camps and into livable um, um, circumstances in a variety of different countries. And I think we're all gonna have to um, uh, share the weight um, and, and uh, distribute that, that uh, flow of, of, uh, of immigrants, all of those countries that depended on the translators, not only the translators and the pe people who work directly for the governments and for the military and for the reconstruction uh, agencies, the NGOs, but also those who bought into the mission itself, those who maybe they didn't work for the U.S. government or for the British government, for other Western allies, but that went to school with the expectation that they were going to have an opportunity to participate in a democratic society and in a, a, a newly affluent society. I think we have an obligation, not only to the people who work directly for us and with us, but also to, to those who who um, bought into what we were selling, into the mission, into the goals um, that were uh, at, the, at the heart of, um, of the rhetoric and the public relations that we, that we sent to the Afghanistan. So I'm, I'm hopeful, I'm, I'm cautiously hopeful that, that we will um, uh, accept the responsibility uh, of helping these people uh, find new homes, new occupations, uh, of, of help those who come out uh, um, in the future uh, who are unable to make it through the evacuation uh, gauntlet that exists right now in Kabul, getting to the Kabul airport. There will continue to be people who filter out through the land barriers in, of Afghanistan. And I think we need to be, um, to help as many people as we can.
Sa nadu għal analizi ġeopolitika ta' din il-ġima. Ġo Franza il-mizuri kontroversiali tal-passaporti tal-Covid jista' jiġi estiz za april ta' s-sena id-dihla. il-data tal-elezzjoni presidenziali u Emmanuel Marcon et jibbaza l-strategija għal-repha elettorali għattini mandat fuq il-rispons tijo biex jipreveni il-firxa tal-pandemija. E donc, de manière operasjonel, tre pratik, nu devon avoir ces discussions. Sfortunatament għal-Marcon il-krizi fl-Afganistan tista id-dajjef il-strategija tijo. L-istess mod kif semmejna il-ġima l-ohra li s-situazzjoni fl-Afganistan s-dajjef rebħa l-Biden fl-elezzjoni ta' n-nofstermi fl-Istati Uniti. Marcon et jamila ċara li ma jrič n-flus ta' refugġati min l-Afganistan fl-Europa. Jekkux lest biex jisostni il-klim tijo bazzjoni nista unziru nafu fil-summit ta' settembru għal-pajizi ta' nofsinar ta' l-Unjoni Ewropeja fil-Greċja. Meta il-krizi ta' refugġati mill-Afganistan tkun ta' importanza fuq l-agenda. Marko nandu raġuni tajba biex jinstema ibes fuq l-immigrazzjoni. Franza tipqa il-mira ewlenija għal-ISIS. Izda it-teddida għal-Franza mux biz ġeja min-ISIS. Kif spiega Marko n-fintervista televiziva din il-ġima. S'il paktiz avek li movement terrorist prezent dan la region, evidemment, ce sera inacceptable pour nous tous. Wieħet manduġ bżon taħriċ speċjalizzat biex iwetta t-til tal-massa. Atroċita fuq skala gbira bejn issa u l-elezzjoni presidenziali sedda jef serjament it-tamit ta' Marcon. L-aversari politiċi tijo se jajdu li għawn il-president li jimpona restrizjoniet tal-Covid bla preċident fil-ħajja ta' kuljum. Izda muwiex kapaċi jizom il-pajis sigur mit-terroristi izlamiċi. Il-ġenerazzjoni estremisti izlamiċi fil-Europa li jissejħu il-raba ġenerazzjoni u ma differenti min dawk ta' qabilom organizzati min al-Kajida jo ISIS. Għali jom il-ġihad uwa il-faċilitat mil-Facebook u media soċjali fejn t-xerret il-mibeda għal-valuri tal-punent u din il-raba ġenerazzjoni jahdmu pal-individwi. Il-mibeda lejn Fransa mill-estremisti izlamiki se tkun l-akbar sfida ta' Marcon. Grazzi li jeti segu, jekant kom xi kommenti passol tu ibatu għan permets tal-WhatsApp. Ip o mana jina leħo għal net-TV, il-programmi kompli għara il-waqfa għasira.